You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real. It's Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to rollermartinunfiltered.com. You can make this possible. The Nevada caucus is being held on Saturday, and there are concerns that we might see the same kind of problems we saw in Iowa. After the fiasco in Iowa, Nevada got rid of the app designed by Shadow Inc., whose technology failed on election night and left Iowa Democratic officials unable to provide vote and delegate counts for days. That decision solved one problem, but it created a bigger one, since Nevada spent the better part of the year planning out an even more complex process than Iowa around the same app. It'll be interesting to see how this all turns out. Well, panel, we all saw what happened in Iowa. Nevada is next up going through the same process, which is actually, in, in, for them, a little bit more cumbersome in I, than Iowa was. What do you think are some of the tools that they may have at their disposal that Iowa didn't in terms of turning this thing around before it could turn into a disaster? And I'll start with you, Chris. Well, let me start with this. Iowa was a complete dis disaster, right? So it's kind of hard to do worse. But it looks <laughs> like... <laughs> but it, it's going to be interesting because, as you're pointing out, Nevada does have a more complicated process than Iowa. And they switched over to a different type of process right before this is about to happen. Much and like we saw in about, Iowa. Right. So we're talking about the perfect storm of actually topping Iowa. I mean, Nevada is about to do it. So what this makes is, again, Democrats looking like they are unprepared and cannot handle the election. Mm -hmm. And we're talking about voter suppression. We're talking about incompetence when we're dealing with this. So I, I'm praying for Nevada right now. <laughs> they have to pull off mm -hmm. a seamless election. Otherwise, again, people are going to lose their faith in the process altogether. There's that, and I would pro probably also add to that, you know, we are looking at an entirely dem different demographic in Nevada than Iowa. One, one that isn't a lot larger than Iowa's, but also one that is a lot more people of color. And they think that, you know, to the stand of it completely falling apart would be a lot more detrimental considering the fact that a lot of voters have been waiting for us to get to a state, an early primary state that actually resembled the country mm -hmm. more so than a place like Iowa. But in addition to that, when we're talking about the move to a more complex system, I think that it's important that we be reminded that a lot of Democrats actually argued for this post the last election cycle because they wanted to have a process that they thought was a little bit more strenuous than the previous one just because they felt that Bernie Sanders didn't get a fair shake. Mm -hmm. Now we're seeing what this new strenuous process actually looks like and the fact that the whole thing could potentially fall apart because of it. Um, Kelly, I want to get you in here on this. Again, I think that no matter what state you're in, you're looking at the results of Iowa for the people who were the top one and top two after days of not knowing who the winners were. By the time it finally came out, no one really cared anymore. It really dropped the momentum and the ball for those candidates who had people on the ground for months at a time and invested loads of cash there. Now we're moving towards Nevada. Um, there's a lot of fear that we may see a repeat, and it could actually potentially be worse than what we saw in Iowa. I don't see how it couldn't be worse than Iowa at this point. Like you said, you have the demographic issue, you have the size issue, you have the complexity issue, you have the fact that it's another caucus and not just a straight vote like Frankly, I feel like elections should be at this point. Um, I don't understand how, of all the things that happened in 2016 when it came to elections and voter suppression and possible fraud or the alleged fraud, that didn't really happen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, all of this chaos that happened that year, why you would try and create yet another process that is purposely convoluted you know, it, it, it doesn't make any... That just doesn't make any sense to me. So it's... In, in my head, I'm actually just looking forward to Super Tuesday and just hoping that, you know, the caucusing thing just kind of is, is, like, nightmare over real election <laughs> right now, you know, and, and see what happens from there, because I just don't see what's... The only thing that I see happening in, in Nevada um, that I would be paying more attention to is who's going to drop out. Because with Iowa, mm -hmm. um, New Hampshire, we saw that Yang dropped out. And um, I, I just have a feeling like people who are lower on the on the spectrum of votes are going to be like, you know what, this isn't even worth it at this point. You know, because after Nevada, what is, is, is South it? Carolina. South Carolina. I'm just like, okay. Yeah. You know. Absolutely. All right, folks, back to that whole Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. Join Dr. Jackie Hood Martin as she engages others to think like a leader. Are you looking to enhance your leadership? 
or that of your team in 2020? Join our newest online course and mastermind group, How Successful People Think. She will be your guide as you learn timeless leadership principles to apply to daily living. Offer expires February 28, 2020. Register for or start the online course today at www.live2lead.com slash Leesburg. Now back to your Roland Martin Unfiltered video. You want to check out Roland Martin Unfiltered? YouTube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real. It's Roland Martin Unfiltered. See that name right there? Roland Martin Unfiltered. Like, share, subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's YouTube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin. And don't forget to turn on your notifications so when we go live, you'll know it.